what you can see probably from this is those trees are going crazy right now. Uh, we're using the wall here of the tennis court as kind of like a giant zeppelin that we're shooting inside of. This thing is really blocking a lot of our wind. We're having 45 mile an hour gusts and terrible, terrible wildfires. So I had to find a place outside that I could shoot that was still clean enough for us to kind of hear the good audio. I'm, just, I'm doing this. I don't know why, because the microphone's here, I guess. I don't know. Like I normally, I guess, would be doing this if it was a lav, but no. We're gonna cut that. So we're just gonna do another review here on Wave Report. This time we're actually gonna be talking about point source audios, new lavalier mount. Uh, what's really cool about it is it's called the Embrace. And actually, I'm currently wearing it. You can't see it, but it's actually right here around my ear and going out the back and the little capsule is actually up here on my temple. Uh, this is actually patented. What's really neat about this versus what else is on the market is it's adjustable. You kind of just treat this like an expendable uh, with your production. There's little gauges here along the edges that tell you where you can cut with some uh, wire snips because there is a wire in there that kind of lets it be a little malleable. And if the wire does stick out, they give you a little clear cap to go right on top. This is actually very popular with Broadway plays. A lot of times actors will throw this on when they've got heavy makeup. And this is actually where point source audio kind of dominates the scene is with Broadway and Live AV and uh, worship houses. But now they want to break right into video and the filmmaking production world. So they've signed up a couple of dealers and they sent me a couple to review. I actually like it. Um, I've used this on two projects now. Um, the lavaliers are incredibly tiny. Uh, they have an incredibly thin wire. Uh, the ones they sent me, the wire is probably about one millimeter and I, I, I can't really show too well without getting the camera out of focus, but uh, there it is. It's about one millimeter thick. It's also uh, tan. I believe they come in white and black. Uh, this little embrace though is dark brown. The one I'm currently wearing is tan. So it's not just, you know, basic colors, they actually have shades. What else comes in the box is you get some mic clips as well as a little foam cover. I've got the black one, I think in here somewhere. Uh, but this one is the tan uh, beige kind of color uh, foam windscreen, which is awesome because so often uh, they just ship it with a black one. So you're like, eh, I don't need the black one. The other thing I want to talk about is the low profile lavalier itself. So I've got one right here. And that is it. I mean, this is not, let me put this way. This one is their version of kind of a, a red dot. And that is to make it a little less sensitive. Uh, do not over tighten. It uses this X, what they call the X connector. And it's kind of like a micro dot. It's just a center pin with the shielding on the outside, just screw it together. And the lavalier then terminates to whatever you need it to be. This is a TA5. They come in all sorts of flavors. I think the only one they don't do is Sony UWP. And that's gonna have to be a custom that you do uh, with your dealer or they will have to do in the factory. You just have to specify, uh, but not standard uh, in their package offerings. So let's actually take a look at the connector itself. It's just a short little jumper. You could actually make these if you bought something you want to change out the TA5. Uh, but this is all molded uh, from the factory. Really, really nice. Let's put that down. The actual lavalier, I'm trying to, so you can kind of see it. It's only probably about maybe four millimeters wide. It's not that much bigger than a Sankin. Uh, it's a lot shorter than a Sankin. And it kind of reminds me very much of like a B3 uh, kind of mic. So overall, you're actually hearing this the whole time. I've got it feeding into my Electrosonics belt pack, uh, and that's feeding my receivers into a line level signal in my recorder. So you're hearing exactly what it sounds like coming off the Electrosonics preamp when this is plugged directly in. I'm just kind of rambling. I have no idea how to really do a test on lavaliers other than just let you listen to them, tell you what you get. Uh, one more offering that Point Source Audio uh, has, and that is a really cool little orange, what I like to call the orange pack, and it's every lavalier accessory that they make. So you get a couple of clips when you buy the lavs, but you can also just say, I want, I want everything. I want the big, the big hoopla. 
and it's literally everything. I've got a couple of moleskin. That's, I provided that. They didn't provide the moleskin. But it comes with uh, your white clips, uh, spring clips, tie clips, non-tie clips, uh, vampire clips, every little magnetic clips, every single kind of clip uh, that you might want, they actually make and can sell you. Plus, and this is the coolest part, caps. They make different colored caps for your microphone. So you don't need to go and buy a brand new microphone if you need it to be black. Just slide a little cap on. It kind of reminds me of the Sennheiser MKE-2s like that, where you just have the little caps you can just slide in and on. Uh, they make two different sized windscreens. One's really big for high wind. And then they make a small windscreen for low wind. Uh, that's not bad. I mean, it really is a nice little kit. Some of the clips, not gonna lie, you'll never use. So you may not necessarily need this, but it's nice to go and just buy one box and it literally have everything. I just throw this in my bag and at the end of the day, it's always there. If I need it, I'll just go and grab it. I grabbed out of it, I think, once so far, but it was also, it was there for me to grab out of. So that was kind of nice to have. I know so often we buy all these little clips and we sort of kind of keep them in organizers with each lav and it kind of gets itself spread out. Having it all in just that nice little pack that I can just toss in a bag, really, really convenient. I really, really like it. If you like the sound of this microphone, you should go and support them at your local dealer. Uh, if you don't like the sound of it, tell me why you don't. It might be the fact that I'm not shooting this video properly. Who knows?